Hey everyone, Dave with Mile High Drone Services and what we are going to talk about today is how to get your Mavic goggles, the original version, to work with the Mavic 3. I do a lot of my commercial flying under the hood because I like to be able to focus exactly on the shot and not be distracted. I was really bummed out when the Mavic 3 came out and in the FAQ on the DJI website the question was asked, are any goggles supported? And they said, no. Like, well, that is a real bummer. However, I did find a way to get these goggles to work. So it's a good news, bad news story. The good news is there is a way to get it to work. The bad news is it might cost you 1200 bucks to do it. Unless you bought the Cine package. The way I got these goggles to work is the original goggles and maybe the V2 goggles also, I don't know, I don't have the version 2 goggles, have an HDMI in port. The smart controller has an HDMI output port. So you just need to find the right kind of cable to connect the two and the theory is it should work. It's a theory. In reality, it does work. My fear was when I plugged in the HDMI cable, this screen would shut off and I would not be able to, you know, uh, change camera settings or do anything if the HDMI cord was plugged in. Thankfully, that's not the case. So the next step is to find the right kind of cable. And I've got a kitty cat outside who wants in because she likes to help me when I'm doing these. The cable that I found that works, found it on Amazon, and it's called a Ugreen Smart Digital Life Standard HDMI to Mini HDMI Adapter. And I will put a link in the description to where I got this on Amazon. I don't know, I don't remember what, I co what it cost, 10, 12 bucks, something like that. And then here is the HDMI cable that came with the goggles. And I've had these goggles ever since they first came out and I'm amazed I still have the cable or I could find it, but I could. So basically you just plug the standard HDMI connector into this adapter. You plug the mini HDMI connector into the goggles. And you plug in the other end into the goggles here. And guess what? My goggles are dead. But anyway, if I power up the goggles, I go into the settings, I select HDMI, have the remote on, and everything that's on the display is on the goggles, and it's very clear and very easy to read. So that is fantastic news, at least for me, because now I can use, I can fly the Mavic 3 and use my goggles. So if you've got the Cine, all you're missing is this $10 cable. If you've got the non-Cine version of the Mavic, uh, Mavic 3, then you will need to purchase the smart controller, which you can have for the bargain basement price of $1,200. Um, I don't have access to the standard controller that's, that ships with the Mavic 3. Uh, I doubt it's got a, a, a HDMI output. If it does, It'll probably work. The other option, I guess, would be to find a tablet to uh, connect to the standard controller. And if it's got an HDMI output, maybe it would work. So anyway, so if you've got a Cine, you can hook up your goggles very inexpensively because uh, that ships with this controller. If you bought the other packages, uh, probably you're going to have to spring for this controller in order to get it to work. So, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I guess that's it. So, 
See you next time.